Welcome back to San Diego Market Movers. I'm your host, Jason Yoss. I'm here with the one and only Maxwell. Maxwell, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. So Maxwell and I were talking off camera about some of the top places in San Diego, one of them being Little Italy. Maxwell, what are the top condos in Little Italy right now? Yes, I've got my top five. Let's hear it. Uh, first, we're going to go with La Vida. La Vida is going to be the best all around, best bang for your buck. Uh, there's actually three towers or three buildings. There's a tower, a mid-rise, and townhomes that line State Street. It, it's going to be a prime location and uh, overall great, great bang for your buck, low price. Cool. Next is Aperture. Aperture, the units don't come up very often. It's a little bit unique. It has a sleek design, very contemporary, urban, um, high ceilings, exposed concrete, and it was constructed by CityMark, which also uh, built M2I, Fahrenheit, and one more building on this list, actually. So coming in at third is Porto Siena. Uh, Porto Siena is going to have the best walk score. It's as central as it gets to Little Italy. It's right at the intersection of India and Cedar. It has this very appropriate uh, European-inspired architecture. And right at the bottom of the building on the retail level is actually the market that I like to shop at, uh, Bon Appetito. And so coming in at four is Brisa. Brisa's a, a luxury tower. It, as soon as you walk in, you get this like resort style amenity ambiance. There's plants everywhere. You have water cascading. And that actually consists of three buildings as well. You have the main staple right on Pacific Highway. There are two story townhomes on Beach Street and then kind of nestled in and, and tucked behind the, t the train tracks, you have the historic Globe Mills building that has this like really nice red uh, brick that surrounds it and has the the amenities housed within and there's even some commercial units in there as well nice. and so coming in last but not least and probably my favorite on the list is doma and specifically the 1780 kettner address because there's two addresses so we want the one on the north side this is also constructed by city mark and it's going to have a similar feeling to Aperture, but in my opinion, just a little bit better. It really is going to accentuate the urban living. It has the high ceilings, exposed concrete. And a special treat is that the, the third and fifth floors, those units are two stories. So they have these large window panes that let in a plethora of natural light. I recently got a, one of my clients in one of these units. It's on the corner. It faces the queue, which is just a modern marble building that was built by Little Italy's very own renowned architect, Jonathan Siegel. I, honestly, that's a wealth of knowledge from you, Maxwell, regarding some of the top places in Little Italy. I think that our audience is definitely going to know who to turn to if they want to find the best condos in Little Italy. Everyone else, thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next week. Oh, <music>